Welcome to Surfaces and Splines, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Damani Group. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Damani Group. And in Surfaces and Splines, we'll take a look at the production, modeling, tool ready, with draft, uh, the injection mold housing of this uh, work flashlight. Previously, we took a look at sketching splines and connecting splines smoothly to other sketch geometry. This week, we'll look at the last kind of connection. We looked at G1 tangent and uh, G2 equal curvature previously. And this week, we'll look at uh, curvature continuous connections, or G3. So cur two curves are G3 to each other if the angle of the curves is equal at junction, the radius is equal, and the change in the radius of the junction is equal. We can evaluate this with the curvature combs. We see this very smooth uh, curvature display. There's no uh, harsh rate of change. There's no big spike or jump here. So this is a G3 connection where we have a really, really smooth curvature comb. So SOLIDWORKS doesn't support this with a re relation. There's the tangent relation, the equal curvature relation, but there is no curvature continuous relation. However, there's some ways we can uh, manually go about adding this, and uh, with the new style spline, there's a way we can actually parametrically do this between certain sketch geometry. So last week we took a look at adding this curvature uh, continuous spline and so the standard connection really shows that that harsh jump here but if we uh, enable the raised degree option we can get something that's close to G3 we have to kind of drag these handles. And it's not parametric. If I change the radius of this curve and this curve, I'd probably have to come back into this sketch and uh, finesse these handles again. Likewise, I can use the new style spline, and it's going to get a little better connection than the traditional spline. So I need to create a, spline, or a style spline with at least four degrees. This is because uh, when I create this spline, it actually uses up two degrees to add the uh, the equal curvature. So these two points will kind of be fully defined. So I'll select the, the style spline in this arc and apply equal curvature. I'll try and drag my, uh, my handles around. I'll apply equal curvature. And note that if we look at our curvature combs, it's very, very smooth. So I try, if needing to manipulate the shape, avoid moving this middle one. It kind of jumps around all the time. You're better off just kind of dragging these along. Another way we could actually fully define this guy is select these first two uh, lines and make them equal, and select these two lines and make them equal. We actually see if we zoom in, everything's black, fully defined, and we have a really nice smooth curve. And this will actually parametrically update when I change these curves. I'm not going to have to go in and um, play with the, the handles like the traditional spline. So just uh, if you are creating these, oh, it can be a good idea to, uh, to make these two segments equal to each other and these two segments to each other. So the other way uh, SOLIDWORKS supports uh, style splines or G3 connections is between straight lines. We can kind of game the system by having the math work for us in the background. In order to, uh, to create this G3 connection between these two straight lines, so this is something you might see on the, the side of the iPhone. The iPhone has um, G3 blends. So I need to create a style spline with six points. So I have six degrees. I'll kind of roughly position them where I want. I want three on one side and three on the other. So I'm going to grab each line segment and I'm going to make them collinear to this straight line and I'll do the same thing over here. So what I've actually done is kind of the way these control points work, if all three are on the same line as a straight line, see so here, oh, I clicked equal, I wanted to click uh, collinear. It's going to be a little tricky, you might need to zoom in to pick each of these lines and I'll make them collinear. So if all of the these vertices lie on the same line here, and it only works for line segments, then I actually do have a true G3 connection. And I can adjust its shape by moving these little, little guys along. We can see we have a increase the density of our curvature combs here. 
you know, we have a really this this tapers out and does become very gradual to, to zero curvature because a line has has no curvature. So this is a workaround. It only works for straight lines. It only works in sketches. But if you do need a G3 connection, you can use this little uh, little trick to get the geometry you need. So remember, you need that degree six style spline, and the three control vertices on one side are made collinear to the one straight line, and the three uh, control lines here, they're made collinear to this other line. So thanks for joining us this week. Uh, please follow the Demonic Group on LinkedIn. We'll be uh, posting new videos. Hope to see you next week.